Hi everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another speed build. So today we are going to be doing another Mediterranean, this time a Mediterranean beach house in Tortosa on a 50 by 40 lot and I'm super excited about this one because um, the second part of the groove set from Felix Andre came out and I instantly got so inspired by that set so I decided to do something Greek inspired this time it's not Santorini a type of build but it's a Greek type of build still so woo! <laughs> let's let's get started um, this time you guys I used only Felix Andre and Harry's custom content and actually I haven't planned that uh, at some point when I was doing this exterior and also this gorgeous outdoor space that you were just able to see um, like a minute ago <laughs> um, I noticed that I'm not using nothing actually except for Felix Andre and Harry CC. I uh, used some lemons from uh, Pierre Sim, but I raised them. Uh, unfortunately, I'm so sorry, Pierre Sim. Uh, but this time I just want to use two uh, custom content creators, and also I, I was thinking about uh, using some Charlie Pancakes and Pierre Sim in combination like this as well so you can expect that in the future um, so except so it's not going to be Harry and Felix it's going to be Charlie and Pierre Sim um, and I'm looking forward to that one actually because I haven't build anything without Felix Andre's custom content for ages and I'm a little bit anxious <laughs> how am I going to do that uh, but on the other hand I'm super excited about that because Pierre Sim and Charlie Pancakes also made new pack um, and it's actually wed wedding related but it's so versatile and I really wanted to use it it's very like rustic type of pack so it's definitely going to be something different than this something rustic looking and you already know that rustic builds are my favorite ones <laughs> so I'm very very excited about that as I said this house has a huge outdoor space like it has everything it has jacuzzi it has pool area a grill area i also made an outdoor shower in this part that you can see in here actually i forgot about that <laughs> so i'm just going to add a shower after i finish this recording but it's nothing special i just put one shower in there and I think that one is from Harry and that's it I didn't even put any towel or, or anything because I had a vision that when you are coming out from the pool or from um, the sea because we have sea in here as you can see and we can actually swim in here um, we basically just enter that shower and you know da -da -da -da, and that's it you don't need a shower you can 
lay down to this beautiful sun and enjoy this outdoor life because it's amazing guys i would kill for this house i would kill to have this kind of outdoor space somewhere it's mediterranean i don't know spain italy greece croatia just somewhere where the weather is always nice, beautiful and sunny and just enjoy my best life, you know? So you need to watch a lot, a lot, a lot of videos, you guys, <laughs> so I can afford a house like this. I'm just, I'm just jo joking, obviously. I don't know how many videos you, you guys should watch. Uh, for me to be able to buy a house like this but i really enjoyed enjoyed doing it it was very relaxing all of the time and i enjoyed this walls from the groove set so much um it it gives you the illusion of curved walls so if you uh, look better on the sun you're going to see that uh, the walls the edges of the walls looked curved which is very very good known in Greece I think I mean I'm sure <laughs> so I really really wanted to do another Greece build I know that not so long time ago I did Santorini little chapel and also um, wedding venue outside but I haven't done a house in a Greek style um, I did like a Santorini villa when I when I made this channel so it was so long time ago it was really really long time ago you can definitely check that one uh, that one out if you are interested but just so you know uh, I got some copyright music <laughs> on it so I needed to delete it and I also didn't have a voiceover then so it's a little bit awkward I'm definitely making a better quality videos right now I mean I needed some time to learn <laughs> so please don't be angry about that but I'm definitely learning along the way and I'm thinking that my builds and the quality of my videos are just getting better because I'm really really trying to make it better throughout the time so I'm really hoping that you can see that especially you who are here from the beginning or almost from the beginning somebody who you know find me at my early stages <laughs> Even though I still like to think that I'm still on the beginning, there is so much to learn, you guys, about editing videos, about how to be a better builder and all of those things. So I'm learning every day and I'm really happy and grateful for that because now I have some skills that I can actually use in my life outside of this YouTube channel and that really makes me happy that's really useful um, so <laughs> anyways I'm so sorry I don't know why am I talking about this but whatever um, I really wanted this house to be minimalistic and I know that sounds funny, but I really didn't went all the way with the clutter this time. I cannot say that I achieved minimalism though. Uh, because I probably don't know how to achieve it. <laughs> I think that I said a million times that minimalism is just not for me because I get that cold vibe from it and in general like modern 
super modern interiors are not really my style. I, I don't know, I really like builds to feel lived in and warm and I don't think that I can, I can achieve that with minimalism, you know? And by the way, I used this sofas everywhere. This modular sofas from Felix Sandre's Shop the Look, which is, by the way, available for free to everyone, which is amazing because Shop the Look, both from Felix Sandre and Harry, is just amazing, amazing. And I noticed that everybody and I literally mean everybody has <laughs> been using that sofa, like overusing it. And I thought maybe I can overuse it today, you know, because it looks so fluffy and comfortable. And yeah, <laughs> you're going to see it everywhere throughout this house. And also I made this area, like this romantic area with the bed outside. And I think that's very convenient, you know. I think I would really, really love to have a bed on the terrace where I can, I can just, you know, lay down with somebody that I love and just enjoy the sun or the shade or just uh, the beautiful weather you know and also i added this fire pit in here and candles so you can also lay down there during the night before you actually go to sleep or maybe you can sleep outside <laughs> i slept more than just one time at the Adriatic Sea on the Mediterranean and I just going to say that there is nothing like it especially when you get to see all of the stars because the sky is so clear and the air is just so you know healthy and it's just beautiful. It's just magical. I'm. I cannot wait to sleep on a beach on a beach again. <laughs> just so you know. And if you haven't tried that already, you definitely need to try that. And also, uh, you can see that all of the stairs are from the outside of the house and I think that's very typical in the Mediterranean homes uh, both in Greece and also in Croatia uh, that's very popular in that over stone houses I honestly don't know why um, I cannot say why but I know that's very typical so I decided to do that in this house um, by myself <laughs> basically and this house is actually for the family of four um, I made children room and it's for two children but they're sharing their room um, honestly, um, there is quite enough space to make two rooms, two bedrooms for the kids, but I don't know, I just felt like they're sharing their space and that they are really enjoying it. That, that was my vision anyways. <laughs> so this is the most beautiful kitchen ever, you guys. This is the new kitchen from Felix Andre Set Groove. And I'm obsessed with it. Uh, of course, as you can see, it's also Mediterranean inspired, but I can see it, You, I can see myself using it all of the time in all of those, different types of builds. Um, I'm actually planning a little bit which 
project with the you know which which <laughs> and I was just thinking today <clears throat> how this kitchen would look awesome in a witch house I'm sorry Felix I know that you haven't planned that for your kitchen but honestly I can see it everywhere and I really needed a new rustic kitchen because the ones that I have I definitely overuse and I just needed something else because you guys will think that I don't know how to make an, a different kitchen, you know. Um, I'm always trying to make it look different though, but it's still not completely different because it doesn't have the different counters. So yeah, I'm super, super happy because of this one. And also with this kitchen, it uh, this kitchen comes with a lot of amazing clutter, uh, plates and cups and um, this little lemons in the shell. You're going to see those lemons everywhere in the house, by the way. Um, usually I'm obsessed with lemons uh, in any interior just because I really love that yellow color. And then when you have something neutral, like a neutral interior, like this one, as you can see, everything is brown, beige, and white. And then you just put those yellow lemons somewhere. It just pops so much with the interior. And I really, really love that. I have a few of them. We also have ones in the game, but honestly, I don't know from which packs they are, but I'm also using that one very, very often, especially before I use this much CC. And also I have one lemons from Pierre Sim and those ones were my favorite ones uh, till now, till now, um, and I, I still cannot say that they're not my favorite ones, but they're sharing the place with this Felix Andre's shell lemon combination. <laughs> Also, you can see that I combined two lamps to get this hanging lamp uh, that you can see from the new groove set. Uh, I really wanted to have a wall lamp like this. And I'm so sad that Felix Andre didn't make that lamp for the wall as well. But I kind of figure out how can I combine the two lamps to get this one. So that's a good thing. And I also copy that lamp throughout the house. So you are going to see me doing that as well. Uh, this is basically the entrance of the house and I didn't put anything important in here, uh, really. I was really thinking about what can I put in here and I tried to put a table in the middle and things like that, but just didn't work. I really liked it. When it was opened like this so I just left it like that and here we are in the first bathroom uh, honestly you guys I don't know am I going to share all of the bathrooms with you I think that I'm going to share only two or even only one I think only two um, because I made three bathrooms and one is in the kids area and one is upstairs in the parents bedroom and also one is here for the guests and they all practically look the same I mean it's definitely the same style it has the same walls and everything 
<clears throat> but in the kids room and also in the parents room I put the bathtub and in the one that you just saw I put the showers and that's basically the only change that I made and here we are in the kids room I really like that room I must say um, it's very original I would say I, <laughs> I usually don't say for my things that something is original but this bedroom is really kind of original and I didn't left it in this color I actually changed the walls into the green swatch um, originally I wanted to have all of the walls in the um, in the house the same the same color but I just thought that the kids deserve something extra special you know kids are kids need a creative space with a lot of you know color and toys and things like that so I really really wanted to give them that and also green is such a beautiful neutral color I actually had a green room when I was a kid and it was very serene in my room and then my sister turned it into a pink room <laughs> and then my room became totally hectic but it's my fault um, I decided to have a green room so when it, it, it came to, you know, her decision the, the second time, then she said that she wanted a pink room and I said okay, because I didn't want to complicate and she didn't ask me why I want a green room, so I just, you know, let it be. <laughs> and I made this little study area over here for kids. Uh, with the new shelves from Felix Andre's Groove. I really tried to use all of the items from the Groove as, mm, as much as possible because I was really inspired by that new pack. Um, but I also used quite a lot of other packs, even though this time I didn't use as many packs from Felix Andre that I usually use. I know that I use Florence, I use Kyoto because I cannot do without um, Kyoto's kitchen clutter, I just can't. <clears throat> and also I think that I used one divider from Egypt, Egyptian pack. And honestly, that's mostly it. So I really, and of course Shop the Look, but Shop the Look is available for free, as I said. So I really, really tried not to overuse Felix Andre's custom content this time. I really wanted to mainly use things that are for free, except uh, from this groove bag because of course I was inspired by it and I really wanted to use everywhere and I used the windows and the doors from the latest Harry plus Felix uh, House of Harlix set Harlux <laughs> this was so hard to say a lot of you know <laughs> but okay <laughs> I did it and um, I didn't use as much Harlux set uh, that I wanted to honestly especially not um, the windows and the doors and I'm obsessed with those windows and the doors but I just think that they're not so versatile um, that pack is definitely inspired by some tropical spaces and fancy hotels and things like that. So, 
you know, it works very good in Sulani, it works very well in Tartosa, but everywhere else it's not... Yeah, it's, it's just not so versatile. Also, you just saw that um, this bathroom just mysteriously came. <laughs> it grow. Uh, that's because I actually forgot to put a wardrobe in uh, the bathroom. <laughs> And I put something else there. Uh, I put the TV and things like that. And then um, when I finished everything, and I mean everything, editing this video, I figured, oh my god, I don't have a wardrobe in the bedroom. Okay, that's a first. <laughs> so I decided to just go and cut out the old footage and put this new one in in here as, in, instead um, and this is a little bit of an office area um, I didn't even had the chance to say nothing about it but it's super cute it has an skylight and I also put the skylight in the kids room I don't I don't know maybe you noticed and I thought that's just such a good idea and I combined that skylight with the beams from the organic set. Um, I used a lot of organic set with its beams in here. Um, I think that you already noticed that beams are everywhere, <laughs> literally everywhere, but I think that's very typical to the Mediterranean countries and I think that just that warm wood goes so well with the rest of the house. Oh, we came to the end of this video, guys. I'm sending you a lot, a lot of kisses and I cannot wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye, you guys!